let me see. I think you can see the Rotterdam skyline in the background here. Yes, you can see it. But anyway, this video is not about the Rotterdam skyline. Um, I want to make one clear point to you all. Because there are some Christians who still believe in this superstition. And that's the superstition of good luck, bad luck and coincidence. Coincidence does not exist. It cannot be. You see? And there is no such thing as good luck, bad luck. So, I'm sorry, there is no such thing as good luck and bad luck, absolutely not. Um, when you see someone prospering in an area where it's them selling shoes, I'm using some base examples here. Someone is, is making and selling shoes, okay? And let's say that an individual becomes very successful in making shoes. It can be two things. Either someone is praying to them and making petitions for them at the Most High and God is accepting the prayer and the individual is blessed. Or that shoemaker has a Christian wife or a Christian son, someone that's a Christian in his social circle and because of his honorable, honorable receiving of that Christian, the blessing of that Christian flows onto him. That's one possibility. Or he's a Christian himself, and of course he's prospering. Or there is shadow witchcraft behind it. Those are the only two options, people. There is no such thing as hard working and you'll achieve it. There's no such thing as strategic strategic planning. There's no such thing as believing in yourself. It's not real. You either have one of the two powers working on your behalf, or else you won't get anywhere in life. Absolutely not. There's no coincidence. You see? So, when you see someone that's successful or prosperous in a certain area, First, ask yourself, where does the spiritual power come from? Is he backed up by the kingdom of God? Or is he backed up by demonic spirits? You see, it's one of the two. So, when I was younger, I still believed in the myth of artwork, strategic planning, good luck, bad luck, coincidence. I didn't knew any better. Remember, I, I'm from a pagan background also. Um, but even that pagan background, those, those pagans really knew that they do talk about good luck, bad luck, hard work and all, but it's all to psychologically motivate people. Eventually, the need, some special power needs to be behind you. There are people, finally that sound is gone, listen carefully, there are people, I'm talking to you young people here, because a lot of young people tend to become envious of others, or a lot of young people tend to feel bad about themselves when they compare their life with the life of someone else that's young. For example, you're, you're 23 years old, and you're still living with your parents, you don't have a job, and you don't have much uh, social connections with people around you. You don't go, you do have some friends, that's your life. And then you see someone else who's 23 years old, and he's already a millionaire with two million euros on his bank account, with living in big houses, traveling, and having a lot of rich friends. When you look at it superficially, on the surface, you might 
Well, you might come to the false conclusion that that other guy is blessed, he, he is far ahead, and you, you're a loser. You see, and that's what people often do, especially young people. They compare their circumstance with someone else. Else, let me say it like this. They compare their behind the scenes, their real life, they compare with someone's performance. They only see the performance. They don't see what's behind the scenes. That's why I'm telling you guys, behind the scenes of a lot of people who are prospering, there's shadow witchcraft. They either go to witch doctors or they have they come from, from a pagan family that's involved generations long in uh, wizardry. Or they are they are born in a family of Freemasons and because of their association they get a free pass. You see? And with free pass I mean they benefit from the Freemasonry of the family or they are involved in any other kind of occult practice. How small ever and that is empowering them. There are many students. I'm not kidding about this. There are many students on high school that finish high school with A's, passes eight in uh, in America, or with eights and nines. And you think, whoa, that kid is very smart, or that girl is very smart. And you don't know that there's a demon spirit that you know working through that girl and causing her to get all those A's. You see. We need to stop looking at things from the surface, uh, on the surface level I mean. We need to begin to ask ourselves what's behind the scenes. And uh, most of the time what's behind the scenes is very ugly, very disgusting, very filthy and very unbearable. You see? That's why you see a lot of successful people who want to commit suicide, want to end their life. And we were thinking like, and we look at the surface and we were thinking, hold on a minute. Why do you want to end your life? Everything's going well with you. Your circumstances are fine. You don't have any worries about money, about paying rent, about any of that. Why are you worrying? We do not see immediately what's behind the scenes. You see? As I mentioned before, pagans, they talk about good luck, bad luck and coincidence and they repeat it over and over again just feel good about themselves when their witchcraft fails because witchcraft does not always work the way you expected it often there are a lot of plagues and unintended consequences so when things go wrong with pagans they always blame it on good luck, bad luck, karma or coincidence but they know very well that those things don't, don't exist the government knows those things don't exist either you see, how do you think that most. How do you think that most of those leaders, and I don't only talk about political leaders, also economic leaders in the business world? or social leaders in uh, the community. How do you think that most of those people get to where they are at? Even in churches, many people prosper due to shadow witchcraft. So seriously, there's no good luck, no bad luck and no coincidence and there's no karma either. Either the source of your supply is the kingdom of heaven or your source of the supply is demonic spirits. You're connected to either one of them. You see, when you're connected to the kingdom of God, the, the, the prosperity that you will receive will be from the grace of Christ. So you will not have any stress with it. But if your prospering is connected to demonic spirits, then you will have a lot of plagues and a lot of um, negativity that will haunt you. I'm not saying that when a Christian prospers, they won't have any problems, because remember, Christians are persecuted, but still they have peace. See, in the kingdom of darkness, you always have to give so you can get. You see, 
but in the kingdom of God you only have to receive. The kingdom of darkness operates through cycles and patterns and demonic principles. Well, the kingdom of God operates through mutual submission and trust in Jesus Christ. Well, I wanted to share that with you guys so you, so you guys won't be deceived.